Bus service in the city of Arlington will make its final stop tomorrow. After four years, the city voted to end the MAX bus service, the city's only traditional public transportation system. Our Brian New live for us in Arlington tonight, uh, in Arlington tonight with uh, what's next out there. Brian? Yeah, Ken, city officials say this right here is the reason they are ending this bus service. We are the only ones here at this bus stop. We've been the only ones here for the past couple hours. And the last bus that came by was empty. But some riders and even visitors say the real problem is a lack of commitment by the city of Arlington to public transportation. Whether it's to work or to school, Daniel Collier depends on the MAX bus service to get him there. That's my only ways of transportation right now. It's, it's going to hit a lot of people because, I mean, that's the only way of getting around. You know, they got to figure it out now. And it's cold in the cold, so I don't know. But step on board and you can see why city officials say the service is not worth the tax dollars spent to run it. Some days, less than 100 people all day step foot on the bus. For decades, the city of Arlington has struggled to find the right public transportation fit, a struggle that's not lost on the city's growing number of visitors. These fans here for Friday's Cotton Bowl say they know from past bowl games there's no easy way to get to AT&T Stadium. So this year, they're prepared to walk a mile and a half from their hotel. And when the game was over, it was like getting a, a chopper out of Saigon. Good luck. With the size of the crowd that they get here, my thinking is they'd be better prepared to deal with a crowd that size as far as getting people in and out of here. The city's latest attempt at public transportation is an on-demand ride-sharing van service. The pilot program called VIA started this month. Now that I heard this news, is we're going to have to find another, find another way to get around. Some riders like Collier say they're not convinced the new ride-sharing program will work and fear they soon will be without any public transportation at all. So tomorrow, as it's posted right here at the bus stop, there's going to be a public hearing meeting at noon. And anyone is invited to voice their opinion about the elimination of the bus service. But city and DART leaders tell us it's not going to make any difference. The bus service will end tomorrow. In Arlington, Brian New, CBS 11 News.